Shirley, that radio chick. I hope I can remember where that coffee machine is. You're on Raised on Rock Radio. Welcome to Australian Classic, where we'll visit a classic Australian album each episode. Some you'll know and love, and some hopefully will surprise you. Last time we revisited classic album Freight Train Heart by Jimmy Barnes. This time, for the first time, we are reviewing a brand new album released less than a week ago, The Screaming Jets, Professional Misconduct. The Jets unexpectedly lost their bass man and best mate, Paul Wasine, last month. Way too soon, aged only 56, Paul wrote nine of the tracks on this album and the Jets have decided to continue with the album tour in honour of Paul. Let's start with track number one. It was also the first single from the album, Nothing To Lose. What have I done? What can I do? Can we work it out? Got nothing to lose. That single from the album is the band's first new music offering in eight years. Dave Gleason said of it, It's been a long time coming, Jets fans, but our new single has arrived. It's called Nothing To Lose and we hope it rocks your nuts slash tits off. We love the new album and this is your first taste of professional misconduct. Never one to mince words. I think Dave is absolutely right. A great song that sets a great tone for the 10 tracks on the album. Bass player and songwriter Paul Racine wrote nine of the 10 songs on the album, including this next one. Calm down. Third track on the album is called No Reason, followed by this one, written by Paul Wasine with Dave Gleason, Second Chance, the second single. Touted as one of the finest ballads of the band's near 35-year career, Dave Gleason says, This one's introspective. I came up with the lyric during COVID. It's about those sliding door moments, thinking about lost opportunities, but more importantly, thinking about new opportunities that might be on the horizon. Paul said, I sent Dave the lyrics I had. He'd already come up with his own. Funnily, the vibe of both sets of lyrics were very similar, so we sort of melded the two into this one song. I'm very happy with it, and how it turned out, I think it's a beautiful piece of music. It sure is. listening to Australian Classic with that radio chick Cheryl Lee on Raised on Rock Radio. It's hard to believe that just three days ago we were watching the memorial for Paul Wasine. His death makes some of the lyrics in the songs even more poignant and take on almost a different meaning. I wish I had time to play you the whole album. There's Throwing Shade, Lying With Her, Shadows, Crash Out of Time, Give Me What I Want, and Speed Quack, which is Paul was seen all over. He loved ducks, saying they looked all calm on the surface above the water, but they were paddling like effing crazy underneath. We love you, Paul. We miss you. We're so thankful to have your body of work and this fabulous album to remember you by and your music lives on. Chance one shot. I'm going to read a handwritten message from lead singer of the Screaming Jets, Dave Gleason. Thanks everyone for the awesome feedback about the album. It's like everybody has a different fave track, which is amazing. 
It's obviously bittersweet, but I know Paulie would be chuffed that peeps love the new song so much. Huge love to you all. Jets at number one is absolutely f***ing amazing. Dave Gleason. I've pre-ordered my copy on red vinyl. You can also get it on gold vinyl, old school black vinyl, and of course on CD. If you've just tuned in, you've just missed Australian Classic with that radio chick, Cheryl Lee. Thank you for joining me. See you next time on Australian Classic. But for now, let's see if I can find that coffee machine. If you'd like to see more of that Radio Chick stuff, you can go to the Facebook page, that Radio Chick dash Cheryl Lee, or check out the website, that radiochick.com.au. Tell the voice, try and understand it.